audience of Metal Zone Radio Show, we have the huge pleasure to be with one member from Pestilence. Uh, the just come and play at the Hellfest. Hello, how are you? And can you introduce to our audience? Well, you know, uh, I don't know. Do I need introduction? Everybody fucking knows me. I'm Mr. Pestilence from Pestilence. So, very happy to be here. I've been here in 2009, and uh, wow, 2019 time flies. Um, having much fun here and uh, seeing some new faces and seeing some old faces as well. So it uh, feels like a whole big family. Everybody is enjoying themselves. Uh, it means that metal is still big, you know, and uh, happy about that. So Pestilence is celebrating this year the 13th anniversary of the album Consuming Impulse. Uh, uh, why this album in particular and why not do it for example Maleus or Testimony for example? Well, very simple. Uh, it's the 30th anniversary of consuming. Uh, not next year, but the year after. It's going to be the 30th anniversary of testimony. So we're going to do that. Um, yeah. So um, um, we don't like Malays particularly that much. We're a young band. That was our first album. We we're still looking for our own style. And uh, consuming was al already a little bit more to our liking. And then testimony was more. Um, at that point, we felt very comfortable with this style and it was more original and um, well, we tried to continue in that in that pace and uh, keep it up with the next albums as well, so yeah. So, we're going to talk uh, of, of your latest album, uh, Adrian, was released one year and a half ago. Uh, uh, in retrospect, what do you think of this album? I think um, it, it's, um, with every album, we try to do our best. And um, at that point in time, Hey Dion was the best that we had that we could offer. So I think that um, this album, um, even because it's new, it's being overlooked. Uh, it didn't get the attention that it deserves. But that goes for my other albums as well. It goes for Doctrine, goes for Obsideo, and now uh, Hey Dion. Uh, it has to do with, um, with the record labels that we are working with. Um, they don't have enough uh, power and money behind it to, uh, to, to you know to promote the album and which is which is bad because I think that we've we've been around quite a long time uh, since 86 so I think that we deserve a little bit more uh, attention um, but to to go back to the question uh, we love hey Dion it's like um, it's a continuum uh, of um, of testimony, uh, testimony of the ancients, but then just a better version of it, better songs, but in the same vein. Uh, we're currently working on a new album uh, called Exidium, which is Latin for the total destruction. So that is kind of what's going to happen. It's going to be brutal. Okay. Yeah. So we're going to wait a little bit. <laughs> okay. Um, I would like to return to the, the the split of the band in 2014 and the second reformation. Uh, in 2014, you uh, uh, announced that you would not want to play with Pestilence again, okay, uh, uh, or to release a new album. Uh, what made you change your mind? Um, well, I've said it. I said it a few times bef before, and it all all has to do with frustration of how record labels. Um, you know how, how how the interaction is with with these labels, and also how uh, the fans and the whole scene reacts to um, this this uh, weird situation that an, uh, a band can't always say the truth about everything because then you have a problem with a record company, and then they, they they're not going to help you that much. But most of the time, it's out of frustration that uh, we don't get the um, the uh, financial uh, financial capacity to 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 promote our album the way the way we want to. So, um, but actually, the fans they 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 keep on giving me the the power and willpower to continue because when I stop, uh, I get so many emails, I get so many requests like, please, uh, you know, reform, come come back and. And I do. I do it for the fans. I, I, I really do it for the fans. I don't do it for the labels. Yeah. Uh, that's why I'm starting my own label now, hey, called Hey Dion Records, to control, to control my own destiny. Yeah. 
and I think that's the only way to to yeah. to do it. Yeah, really, more and more bands are are creating their own label to 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 control everything. Cool, that's a cool thing that you are yeah. again uh, on the stage. Uh, how much, in your opinion, has changed? Uh, we were talking a little bit about uh, the the. The, the record label, but how much in your opinion has changed over the years in the metal community and, and business? Uh, well, I think that um, for me, I think it's a good thing that the internet uh, took over. Um, of course, you'll have the problem when you want to release an album that when it leaks, uh, uh, before, yeah, and it's, for, and it's for free, and, and before the album is released, people already have it, so that's kind of bad. The good thing is, is that record labels don't make so much money anymore with with album sales. So now they have to find different ways uh, to make money. And for the band, it's the same. The band gets their fee by um, by performing and merchandise. So if you have your own merchandise and if you control your own shows, you, you can you can still live. Yeah, have a good living of, of music. So yeah, so um, so that's that's what really what changed a lot is that. Now, uh, nowadays, um, people get people get more smart, and they take the power now themselves. You know, they, of course, you're gonna have still they have the, the bigger re uh, record labels uh, out there, but I think uh, people are more smart now and try to do it themselves. So I think that's a good thing, really. Yeah, I agree with you. It's a very good things. Uh, what are some of your biggest influences that you'd love to share the stage with, uh, living or or deceased? Well, I have always try to not get in, get influenced by anybody so no band I don't listen to music in general so I don't listen to metal in general uh, I make one exception which is uh, possessed I mean that band is, has been has been out there for the longest time and I, I really uh, and you know admire Jeff yeah. and uh, that new album fucking rules oh, yeah. right yeah. I'm gonna be watching them as well from the side yes. I love these guys. So that I mean, you know, to to share the stage with uh, Possessed, um, you know, even to do a tour with Possessed. I mean, they're on tour right now themselves. But I would love to do something like that because they've been out there so long, struggling, and now they're back and stronger than ever. And I think that he deserves it as well. So um, yeah. But as far as the rest, um, I, I'm not trying to get influenced too much myself. Um, but you know, festivals like this are just awesome, just to just to hang out and just to see everybody. You know, from from Dream Theater to, to Possessed, right? So that's cool. Yeah, wide range. Uh, uh, so you say you're now listening metal, except Possessed. Uh, uh, are you listening other kind of music? Yeah, I mean, I, I do. I do prefer listening to jazz uh, and even some dance music. For me, it's for me, it's. It, I, I mean, I, it doesn't change my opinion about myself yeah. being metal or not metal uh, I think that people have more open mind nowadays and you know people are because of they're more open-minded um, they're not judging other people anymore uh, what to listen to because I, I remember back in the day um, you either listen to metal or nothing right but that goes from people that listen to hip-hop it's only hip-hop or nothing but now there's such a wide range of, 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 of spectrum of music that you can enjoy. I mean, I, I, I like to listen to music scores um, that kind of, you know, gets you on a journey. Like I said, jazz, I love jazz because of the musicianship. So it uh, makes me a better musician as well. So um, I, I like all kinds of music, except for fucking country and Western. Fucking hate it. But that's just me. <laughs> uh, Okay, so uh, to conclude, uh, you are playing and you play at the Hellfest. So I suppose you've got other festivals planned, summer festivals. Did you have a tour or something? Can you tell us more? Uh, well, we just completed uh, our tour, our Consuming Impulse tour, and now it's just like festival time, and uh, Hellfest was one of them. Uh, we got to Goat Hellfest, we have Dockham Open Air, um, we got um, In Flammen. Uh, so there's a lot of st stuff still happening. We're doing uh, in December. We're doing uh, Moscow. Uh, we're going to Japan. Uh, we just did some shows in Indonesia. So we're we're all over the place. Yeah, we want to go to Australia, New Zealand, and uh, 
of course plans for next year yeah. and then uh, there's going to be the, the the big thing is the the testimony of the ancients album we're going to do it in, in its whole we're going to play the whole album so that's going to be awesome as well so we have plenty of stuff to do okay. until then very busy <laughs> do you remember the first time you play in front of a uh, public The f your first time you yeah. live appearance yeah I was I think I was 16 or so 17 I've never played any other band but pestilence uh, I think I was 16 or 17 and uh, I think there were 20 people there or something nobody knew us and we we're fucking very very scared and uh, nervous and uh, but after that everything went well and so um, but that that was mine a mind-blowing thing that people are watching your watching your show um, Now it's more like, okay, I hope they have a good time and they can enjoy themselves. Even like what happened on Hellfest now, when, they, when we have a lot of technical difficulties, you have to be professional and just keep on continuing because people want, yeah, we, we do everything for the fans. Yeah, that's what it's all about. Okay, so to conclude uh, this interview at the Hellfest, did you have something to add and some words for your French fans? Because, of course, we are in France. Yeah, yes. Well, like I said, I've been here in 2009 and I have very good, very fond memories of this. Uh, we played in Paris in the Jeebus, where we also did our, one of our first shows in, in France. So, um, yeah, I mean, the French people have always been very good to us. They're very loyal, loyal fans. They love the music and they love pestilence and therefore we love France. Yeah, that's what's up. Okay, so uh, this was... Pestilence at the Hellfest on Melz on Oxygen Radio. Thank you very much for your time. Uh, wish you a lot of good things for the future with the Thank band, you so for you, for your family, etc. etc. Thank you again and have fun at the Hellfest. Thank you, man. Thanks Thank you. Yeah.